Hi there, it's Lydia DiFrancesco, your certified personal trainer with Fit and Healthy 365. And today I'm going to take you through a quick five minute full body stretch routine that you can do on your own when you're at home or if you're traveling somewhere. Uh, it's gonna be a quick one. So if you need to take a little bit more time at a specific body part and you have a little bit of extra time, uh, you can just press pause and then uh, continue on with the rest of the moves. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold pretty much each move for 30 seconds. Some of them it's going to be, uh, we're going to split the body part uh, half and half. So I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, we'll, here we go. So we're going to start with just stretching the neck. So you can go to one, turn your head to one side. With the opposite arm, so I'm going this way. So with this arm, I'm going to actually be pressing down to give a little bit of an extra stretch here. I'm gonna switch sides, so now this hand pressing towards the floor, giving a nice stretch in the neck. Quick little shoulder roll, backwards and forwards, and we're gonna move on into the lower body. So we're gonna stretch the hamstrings here, so feet all the way out, heels up, you're gonna stand, uh, sit nice and tall, and just bend forward. And as you can see, I'm not overly flexible, but uh, I do stretch every day and I have increased my flexibility. Uh, if you wanna try and reach your toes, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna end up bending in your back, which is okay. Uh, you'll still feel a nice stretch, but I like to alternate with keeping a straight back and not. Next up is glutes. So you're gonna take one foot over, you're gonna twist, the opposite way. So I've got my right foot over the left and I'm twisting facing the left hand side. You should feel that stretch right through your glutes. You want to be pushing your knee away from your body. And switch. So now left side's coming over and I'm, or uh, left leg's coming over and I'm turning to my left. Again, I'm pushing my knee towards the inside, away from where I'm turning. And you still want to maintain a nice upright posture, and you can put your other hand on the ground. Hip flexors and quads. So come up onto your knees, take one foot forward, I'm going to show you from the side here. What you want to do is you want to have your toes underneath. 90 degree bend in your knees. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tilt your pelvis, squeezing your glute and kind of pushing your body forward. And we'll switch sides. So again, if you need to press pause, if you've got more than five minutes, you can do that. And a nice tall body, good posture, shoulders back. Remember here, the trick is you want to actually squeeze the glute and push your pelvis forward. You should feel that right in here, top of the quad especially. We're going to move into the upper body now, stretching out upper back. Clasp your hands, tuck your chin under and Push your hands away, reaching forward. And you're gonna feel that stretch all right through the top of the body. Take some nice deep breaths here as well. All right, low back. We're gonna get into what's the, called the child's pose in yoga. So. Bring your bum to your hips, bum to your hips, bum to your heels, and reaching forward, tuck your chin under. Here we're going to add in a little bit of a shoulder stretch. So take your one arm through and other side. And chest stretch is up next. 
So arms out wide, 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 thumbs up, and just open up that chest. Another way you can do this is by grasping your hands behind and reaching back. This also stretches the shoulders. And lastly, we're going to do the triceps. So elbow up, pushing your elbow gently down to feel a little bit more of a stretch. And switch sides. Remember to take some deep breaths as you're doing the stretches to help relax the body. And there we have it. So your five minute stretch routine done. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh,